Now the purpose of this video is to use a MIDI controller to trigger actions in Reaper. And using alternative keyboard shortcuts, we can create multiple actions for different workflows, giving us more power with fewer controls on a MIDI controller. Let's take a look. I have a project set up here with a bunch of tracks already set up and a bunch of regions set up as well for different parts in our song. And I set up each track, if we right click, to automatically record arm when the track is selected. So if I choose a track, I could play that sound. Or record right away. Choose the bass. Or the piano. Or the synth. Or an arpeggiator. So it's a quick way to work, as we can just switch on the fly to any track we want to work on or be in record to record into for each one of these regions or parts. But I want to use my MIDI controller right over here to control these different things, starting with the transport. As you can see over here, there's some transport buttons for play, record, and stop. So I'm going to start off by setting up those actions with those buttons. But before we get started, we need to go to the preferences. Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac. And we can go over here to MIDI devices and find the device we're using. I'm using this one and make sure we turn on control for this device. In addition to input for MIDI, we need to turn on control to trigger actions in Reaper. So now we can just set up actions with the action list. Go up here to Actions, Show Action List, and type into the filter Transport Play. And right over here is an action to put our transport in play. Go to Add, hit that button on a MIDI controller, and it shows up right here. Now, obviously, you might be using a different controller. I'm using the Arturia MIDI Lab 3, but it's going to work the same with any controller you're using, with buttons, faders, or knobs. So now, this button is going to trigger play in Reaper. And let's do the same for stop. Right over here. Hit that button. And another one for record. Right over here. So now, if I hit the play button, Reaper starts playing. Hit the stop button, it stops. Hit the record button, and then it goes into record. So our transport is working. If you have other transport buttons on your controller for rewind and fast forward, you can set up those as well. We're just going to set up these three. So now I want to set up using one of my knobs to choose these tracks. So instead of clicking on each one, I'm using a keyboard shortcut to go up and down, we could use a MIDI controller knob. I'm going to use this one. Go back to our actions, type in go to track, and there's an action right here to go to our track using MIDI continuous controller information. Hit add, turn that knob, and it shows up right here. Now we could leave it in absolute mode, but I've found for me in this controller, it works better with this option. So if you're not getting the best response, Try out these other options. I'm going to choose this one, hit OK. And now, if I move that knob, it scrolls through the tracks. I want to go to my bass, or my piano, or my synth, and so on. So it's a bit quicker to use this knob to get to the track I want to work on. Now let's set up the other knobs for track volume. Type into the filter, set track volume, and choose these actions over here for setting the track volume. Hit add, move the first knob or fader on your controller. I'm going to use this one, and it shows up right here. And I'm going to switch this back to absolute mode as it works better for my controller. And I'm also going to choose to automatically close window on the MIDI input. This will make this a bit quicker. As we can scroll to track two, 
hit add and touch knob two. And it adds that as our trigger, but also closes the dialogue. Do the same for three and so on. So now they're all done. If we go to our mixer, bring down the knobs, we can remix this project. Just using the knobs or faders on our controller. So that's the basic setup I want to use for this controller. But I also want to use these pads for other functions as well. That's where alternative keyboard shortcuts and Reaper 7 come in. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the actions. And we can see over here, besides the main keyboard shortcuts, we have alternative keyboard shortcuts as well. And we're going to use in this video Alt 1, 2, and 3. This way we can use our MIDI keyboard or controller to do many different things and not be limited to just one for each pad, fader, or knob. But let's first set up how we switch to the alternative keyboard shortcuts. Stay in main and type in alt toggle and the options are all down here. I'm gonna choose this one, hit add, get a keyboard shortcut to switch to alt one. I'm gonna use control one, but obviously, you can use any keyboard shortcut you want. And for this one, I'll use control two and control three. We're just gonna use those three for this video. Obviously, you can use more. So now we could switch to the Alt-1 section and change the keyboard shortcuts for this. But first, let's go to key map and copy the main section shortcuts to the current section. This way they're all the same to start. And if we don't want to change some of the actions, like the ones for choosing our tracks or changing the tracks volume, those will function the same no matter what keyboard section we're in. So let's choose this, do the same for each. So let's go back to Alt-1 and put in the filter region. And I've already set up some custom actions to switch to different regions. As you can see right here, goes to region one and loops that current region. So if we choose it, it selects region one and we can play it on the fly. Do the same with region two and so on. But I wanna switch this using the pads on my MIDI controller. So if we switch this to Alt-1, go to this one, hit Add, hit our first pad, and it shows up in here. And to do this quicker, we'll turn on this option and do this for all eight of the regions. And for this one, it overwrites the stop, which is okay, because we're in Alt-1. So now in Alt-1, we can switch our regions using the drum pads. So normally it works as a transport, but if we hit the keyboard shortcut to go to Alt-1, now we can use the pads to choose our regions. And they'll play when the other one stops. So if I want to start with region two, while it's playing, I could hit region one and it'll jump to that region when region two is done.
So we could try out a different arrangement, just using the pads to choose our regions. And if we hit the escape key, we go back to the main keyboard section and we can use the transport again. Hit the keyboard shortcut to go to Alt-1. We're back to switching regions again. Hit the escape key and we're back to our transport. So let's set up Alt-2 to mute our tracks. Switch this to all two, type in mute toggle, and right over here, we have actions to mute our tracks. Starting with track one, we'll go to track eight. And again, we're in all two, so it's not gonna affect the other keyboard sections. Hit add, hit the first pad, and it added that trigger. Do the same for the rest. And now, if we're in Alt 2, we can mute our tracks just like this. And just hear the tracks we want by muting the others. If we want to switch our regions, go back to Alt-1, and we could hear Region 1. While still muting different parts by going to Alt-2. Switch our regions again. Go back to our transport by hitting Escape. Going to record by choosing the track we want to record into and hitting record. So let's set up one more. We'll switch it to all three and we'll use this for solo. Choose these and do the same thing again in all three. And now, if we switch to Alt 3, we could solo our tracks. Or switch to Alt 2 to mute them. We're back to Alt-1 to switch the regions we're hearing. So very quickly, we could jump around, hit Escape to use our transport, hit Alt-2 to mute and unmute our tracks, or Alt-3 to solo them. hit escape to stop our transport. So as you can see, if we take the time to set this all up, we can use our MIDI keyboard or controller to control just about anything in Reaper. And by using the alternate keyboard shortcuts in Reaper 7, they can perform multiple functions depending on which keyboard section we're using at the moment. So that's pretty much it. That's alternative keyboard shortcuts for MIDI in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.